say to everybody, you know, it's, it's, it's a constant fight for your happiness. Breathe. Breathe. You know, put your faith in her. Because we know God is a woman. I just want to tell you every day, breathe, you know. It's going to be all right. Love. All right. All right. Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 the peace and salutations to Yahweh, 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 you know, the scripture tell you, uh, you, you, you know, you know, a man show off where he is based on it is um off his continents. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What does it say in uh, also the book of uh, was it? I think the book of Isaiah, the third chapter, says um, their continents um, is like that of Sodom yep. and Gomorrah. Yep. All right. You know, I'm roughly paraphrasing it. I think it's like three and nine. Yep. You know. That's it. You know, and we all know this dude's a homosexual, man. All right. You know, I, I knew, I know a brother in the truth that got got a uh, 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 cousins that actually met this dude and know for a fact that he's a homosexual man. I'm just gonna leave it at that, man. All right, it's, it's evident, man. But this guy is gonna say God is a woman, which that's complete bullshit, man. All right. Matter of fact, I don't think gave. Um, praise you, how about shimmy out shot? Did we do that? I'm not sure. God, well, do it again. Be, how about call, call, him, y'all give all praise, honor, and glory to you? How about shimmy out shot? By shimmy, Kakadash. The boss of Apostle El is a great millstone. Peace, citations to you, Sasakim. Push this word, sincerity, truth, and charity, man. You know, so we're going to do a quick lesson off the response on this video of uh, P. Diddy, whatever name you go by. You know, you're always changing up. His damn name. All right. And it's, it's, it's scripture tell you, Mill, not with them that's giving the change, man. Yep. <laughs> you uh -huh. know, so why would you listen to a sweet, I'm even gonna say sweet dude like this, man? Because that's us other bullshit, man. They, they just spewing out his damn mouth. And he talking about everything gonna be all right. No, you ain't gonna be all right because the Lord. You got a day where the Lord is going to destroy you, man. Mm-hmm. All so right. The Lord's a man. Yeah, the Lord's a man. He's not no damn woman, man. All right. Um, I know you had a point you want to make, too. I mean, I, uh, when he said that, I merely uh, thought of this scripture right here. Of course. Because tell you in Exodus um, 15. Oh, that's just that dumb shit. Exodus uh, 15 and 3, it tells you. That the power is the man of war, man. The God's the man of war, man. After they got delivered, um, after they got delivered out of uh, 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 Egyptian captivity. All right, this is uh, Exodus 15 and 3. It says, um, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. So it says he's a man of war. It don't say nothing about him being a damn woman, man. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's plain to the damn point, man. So that just cut that crap he was talking about, talking about God's a woman. And you know why he said that? Because this is a um, backwards ass kingdom anyway, man. So this kingdom worships the woman, man. Yeah. Uh, can you get that in there, Isaiah? Cause you pretty much quoted it, but the um, he turned everything upside down. Yeah, I see. Isaiah, yep. I think it was it twenty nine, maybe. Yep. You know. Yeah, you know this society, man. You know, has uh, got everything off. You know, f flipped upside down. You know, they call evil good and good evil, as the scriptures talk about. Mm -hmm. We're about to, you know, uh, bring out that scripture. You know, in Isaiah, where it talks about how this place is, you know, totally fl flipped around, man. Yeah, he's he's, he's opposite was. Right, he's opposite was 
the truth, man. Because he, I was gonna say, because he's getting the riches of this world. Yep. You know. That's it. You know, he, he could have, have himself a nice big, you know, house, a little sauna in it, a little workout, you know, center, have some jewelry, have a, you know, some nice drinks, you know. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. I was gonna say you, he can have all the women in the world, but I don't think this guy even likes women. Oh no, he don't. He you know? just he just deals with women because he needs the woman to uh, reproduce. Reproduce. This motherfucker have a wife and a woman, but he really love his boyfriend. He's seeing him on the side, man. Oh, yeah, and there's so many, so many photos and footage of this guy, you know, hugging up on you know other celebrities. When I say hugging up, not like in a brotherly way. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put it like that. You know, not in a brotherly way. This is more of like a lover way. Let's put it like that. Yeah, yeah, kind. Oh yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm in. Some, my stay my just man. I was talking about Esau, but yeah, him. Yeah, like I say, he's a no homosexual man. All right, and like I say, somebody, somebody, uh, brother in this in this truth right now told me that his cousins, they was um. Get ready to um, uh, uh, They was on They was rappers And they was on He showed me clips of them They was on Soul Train And they was getting ready to make it In the, in the rap world man But guess what they, they, they had to sleep with this guy Or they get a contract man You know Cause they had some party They said like man a lot of weird shit was going on at the party and shit You know And then he He uh, you know, they approached him. Um, what was it? Uh, Diddy. Diddy. <laughs> Fuck this guy's name is now. Yeah, you know. And he, he pretty much wanted to have sex with him. So of course they weren't with that. So they didn't get the, um, the contract. Contract, or whatever, man. So that shows you, you got to be a homosexual to be a, a get signed to these record labels. Got to be homosexual to be. A successful actor and actress, or how you, you got to do homosexual acts to be successful, you know, be be a celebrity in this wicked ass kingdom, man. All right, but going back to his, um, and that's Esau, man. Everything that's right and true, he he turned it upside down, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you say, oh Lord, yeah. oh, we know really uh, the, the Lord Yahweh is a man, but we're gonna say he's a woman. They're a bunch of damn liars, man. It's Isaiah uh, 29 and uh, 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For uh, and that's what he, he did. He turned everything upside down. Oh, seriously, like it. And now right. that's being exalted. Yeah, they're being exalted, the, man. The things that are um, wicked is the things that are highly esteemed in this society. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Going back to what we were saying. Hey, this society, you know, pushes that whole queen of heaven spirit, you know? And, um, and look, man, the, the woman, going back to his, you know, you said I wanted to make a point. We were talking about this, um, we were talking about this before we started this video, that how is so-called God a woman if the woman is constantly inferior in all aspects of, of um, in all aspects of things are right, in this world, okay? A man is more superior than in everything, okay? And then I was telling the brother, even um, nature itself, right? This, you know, uh, the, you know, science, right? Yeah. It tells you that what you go into, like the eggs and the sperm, right? Mm -hmm. The sperm is actually like a living. It's it's living things. It's living waters, okay? But the the egg, it, it's 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 dead. It's it's not it's not alive. What makes it alive is when the sperm goes into the egg. You know, that's what makes it, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, I guess you could say, uh, 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 for lack of words, a living thing. All it is is a, a damn uh, incubator, yep. okay? And then um, what was I gonna say too? Uh, 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 another thing with women, right? And their bodies, they gotta constantly, um, they go through a cycle each month. So basically, that egg dies every month, man. You know, yeah, we, got, we were saying too. Um, you, oh, we was in a um, smoothie spot. You were saying too, um, men uh, age like fine wine. Women age like spoiled oh, yeah. milk. Yep. You know, they hit the wall quick, man. Quick. All right. You see. Quick. That's like, why when they get in their thirties, 
they not not as um, desirable anymore. Mm-hmm. But you got a man, if you take care of himself, work out, he could be in his 50s, 60s, and still look. I give him 70s. 70s, yeah. I seen on you know Instagram. You see, you know, I follow a lot of workout, you know, little pages and stuff. They should be showing guys who are like 70, uh, looking better than guys in their 20s right now. Yep. And they're active, and they're, and they're hey man, they're, they're hey man, they're, they're ready. You put it like that, they're ready, man, and they can they can produce still, man. Yep. You know. Still have 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 a um, seed, man. Ex- exactly. Yep. You know. So and why? like I was telling you, in the, in the um, you know, in the store, my mom, she's going through you know, met, uh, you know, menopause right now. You know, she's you know, getting up there in age, and man, sure, her body's just like tanking, man, so to speak. Going through all these issues, got that issue, you know, uh, saying her, and then she's saying, oh, my body's just changing, like, different things. Like, I'm having, was it, uh, heat flashes, and my skin is different. Like, all these, basically, her body's, like, self-destructing. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't happen to a man, though. At all. We don't, we don't have issues like that. Now, does a man deteriorate? Of course. But we don't have them issues like that. Put it like that. So, the conclusion of the matter is, wow. With a supreme being, a power that has control, make himself something that's a weaker vessel, man. It don't make sense. If I had control, hey, man, you know how we had these ailments. If we was in control, we wouldn't have them ailments, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we we'll, we'll pretty much be the healthiest thing ever if we was in control. Ain't nobody going to curse themselves or make themselves something lesser if they ain't control, man. Mm-hmm. All right, that's just facts, man. Hey, shit, take up the Lord, man. We ain't decide that your woman was gonna be the weaker vessel. That's all the Lord's decision, man. Con, you know. You, uh, is there more to there? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, say God, God. surely you'll turn the things upside down. Should be esteemed as a potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? <laughs> or shall the thing framed it say him that framed it, he have no understanding? Uh, you go ahead, brother. And that's what. And that's what these people are basically saying, though, that what the Lord designed, what he, you know, how, how he uh, uh, set things up, it's not on point. Yeah. So they, they, these people really believe that their ideologies is better than the Lord's. Mm-hmm. They believe that the Lord that made a mistake. Yeah, the supreme being, all right, that as the scripture says, the ancient of days, which means he basically has been here forever. You can't even comprehend it. We can't comprehend it, okay? The point being, though, the Lord's been here forever, and you're saying that he made a mistake? He made all this around us. Mm -hmm. This complex, you know, world that we live in. But the Lord doesn't, he made a mistake, though. Yeah. You people are out of your damn minds, man. Full of pride, man. That's why the Lord's about to... Hey, can you get that on? Just put a... uh, It's in the book of Sirach. It talks about... um, I think it's um, what is it? The tenth chapter where it talks about pride. Oh and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Lord, it says that the Lord is gonna bring um strange calamities upon them. Okay. All right. I think it's the tenth chapter. Um, maybe start at the sixth verse because I, I think you uh, can jump down from there. But it starts off if you can get where it says that uh pride is um hateful uh before the Most High and man. Okay. Can you start you. off with that, Baba Kusha? I think it's 10 and 6, though. All right. Oh, shit. That's why I hate smartphones, man. I'm about to show you some uh, apps that got everything, you know, with the pocket for in it. Okay, kind of thwart and shit. Well, yeah, I think it's 10 and 6, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if you can just read that whole... It's really, like I said, it's going to be in the whole chapter, so you're going to have to, like, bounce around a little bit anyways in the 10th chapter. 10 and 6. I think it's 10 and 6. Oh, pride is hate. Yeah. 7. Con, con. Oh, con. This is uh, uh, Sirach, Ecclesiastes, 10 and 7. Pride is hateful before the most high and man. And man, too. Yeah. Man, these regular peons here on earth, they hate a prideful person. You know? Which this individual is, by the yeah. way. Yeah. You know? So it says, um, and, and by both. Doth one commit iniquity? Mm-hmm. Keep going. B- 
because um, righteous dealings. Okay, jump down to uh, maybe what does nine say? Uh, why are earth and ashes proud? Yeah, why are earth and ashes proud? Okay, and that's basically talking about humans in general. Why are you proud? You're you're just made up of elements. Okay, why are you proud? Why you think you better than the Most High, man? Mm -hmm. All right, it's a foolish thing. Okay. Yeah. To but go against the Most High's uh, 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 um, his uh, design. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's what you, and you people who say God is all love. That's what you're saying. You're better than the Lord because you got things you love and things you hate, but the the power that created you don't have a, that that same um uh, what they call it, attributes. Yeah, attributes. Yep. That don't even make fucking sense, man. Mm -hmm. All right. So it says, why is earth and ash a proud? There is not more wicked, a, a more wicked thing than a covetous man. And really, uh, uh, this guy is very covetous because he wants to uh, basically be in the position of the Most High. He's, that's what he's really uh, uh, alluding to because he's saying that the Most High's design is off. Yeah. And he's doing anything and everything to, you know, uh, be in that p position of power, man. You know? Yeah. That's well, madness, man. God. And you know what's beautiful about this truth? This truth gives you more ability to read spirits. You look at the spirit of this guy. You're going to really listen, believe what comes out of this bugged out guy's mouth, man. Smoke. <laughs> you know? So it says, why is earth and ashes proud? There's, there's not more a more wicked thing than covering this man. For such as one selleth his own soul to sell. Because and he, he definitely sold out. Smoked. All right. Because while he lived, he casted away his bowels. Yeah, keep going. Um, what verse is this? A physician. Oh, well, matter of fact, yeah, a physician cut off a long disease. Yeah, and, the, and we know that what? Yeah, how is the ultimate physician? Mm -hmm. And he's going to cut off their long disease, right? That, hey, all this wickedness, man, all right? He's going to destroy Esau, put him in this place. You two thirds are next. Like this guy, you, uh, Diddy, P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, whatever you want to be called, all right? You're going to get smoked. You're going to be eliminated, okay? Because the Lord is not, he's not going to, he is not bringing all of Israel out of this um, second exodus. Yeah, yeah. This is not like the first one. The Lord is not dealing with rebels, man, okay? Hey, most I say his word don't go out void, but it will accomplish that which he pleases, man. So, hey, man, you can take the video down all day because you're talking about P. Diddy or whatever, whatever he, he called himself. But that ain't going to change the fact that the Lord's still going to come with that judgment, man. As a matter of fact, you just add added another thing on the tab. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right. So it says uh, a physician cut off a long disease, a long disease. And we always say Esau Edom is a cancer of the earth. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right. So it says. Shit, and he's two thirds. Fuck it. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, cause hey, you know how shot say yeah, your father the devil. He taught the niggas, yeah, and they the worst kind of devil, man. Yep. So it says um, a physician cut off a long disease, and he dies today. A king, he's a, currently a king right now. He mm -hmm. saw Edom. Yeah, and even him too, yeah. to a degree. He's, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's in a uh, the, the, uh, in a sense a position of power. Yeah, yeah, kind. The yeah. Lord's gonna cut your ass off too, uh, Diddy. Oh yeah, kind. Hey, he Clown. dies today a king. Tomorrow she'll die. <laughs> hey, the Lord's coming with that judgment. Hey, we all. What's the scripture say? We all must appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai. Okay. Uh huh. Whether our, our works be good or bad, we're gonna receive a re uh, uh, a reward. Mm hmm. Okay. And we're working to get get that good reward. Man. Oh yeah. All right. This guy's, hey, he's throwing up wicked sacrifices. He's about to get that wicked reward. God. You know, unless he repents, man, if the Lord, for whatever reason, but you know what I'm saying, has it happened. But I don't see it. I'm right, right, like right. That. I, don't I don't see it. Yeah, Lord can do what he want at the end of the day. But like <laughs> like you said, man, I mean, he is Israel. Like, you do have a chance for repentance, but I'm sure two thirds not going to. Uh, he's from New York, too. I'm sure he's seen. Oh, hell uh, yeah. uh, uh, You know, the elders, the apostles, even IUIC, these other camps, one mm -hmm. west. I, you know, Diddy. You know, you fucking scumbag. Oh, yeah, man. This is, uh, uh jump down to uh, 13. For pride is the beginning of sin. And he. Mm -hmm. Pride is the beginning of sin. And why is that? Because if you're prideful, you feel that the Most High, his ways are off. So what happens? You start 
coming up with your own ideologies and philosophies, which is uh, going to go against the scriptures. Yeah. Okay. And then well, when you go against this, you know, the law, statutes, and commandment, uh, um, now you're doing what? Uh, uh, you're transgress transgressing. Okay. Which means breaking of the law. All right. And what does it say in the scriptures? Um, that uh, in the book of Romans, I think the sixth chapter, the last verse, it says that um, the wages of sin is what? Death. So you guys who are uh, uh, prideful, death is going to follow you, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. Can you read that again? For pride is the beginning of sin. Yep. And he, and he that have it shall pour out abomination. Oh, like yeah. this clown. That's what he's doing in his video, pouring out abomination. Yeah, you know, everything's going to be okay. God's a woman. Yeah, you know, we'll be all right. <laughs> this this guy. God damn. And if for the Lord brought upon them strange calamities Ooh. and overthrew them utterly. That's yeah. what the Lord can do, man. Yeah. So don't be surprised if this guy dies really strangely. Don't be surprised. Mm -hmm. All right? God. The Lord's got something special for these uh, these celebrities and, you know, uh, these politicians that are Jake, man, that, you know, that are in this wicked, uh, into this wicked lifestyle. And, you know, Lord already starting to do it. You know, a lot, lot, you know, a lot more slaves been dying lately. Oh yeah, they've been, they've been getting popped left and right. It don't even matter if they're a new celebrity or a so-called legend. Mm -hmm. They've been just getting smoked left and right. Mm -hmm. Lord's not playing. It's showing you that the Lord's not playing, man. Yeah, he's tired of you people doing all your wickedness, man. Mm -hmm. He's getting, he's getting ready to put an end to that, man. Especially in Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood. a lot of weird stuff goes on in L.A., man. Yeah. All right, and it sh shows you, Lord, already. <laughs> Already smoking Hollywood, they can't even come up with no more ideas. So they got to go back to um, making making sequels, shit, uh, thirty year old movies, and all that crap, man. And Bill and Ted, 3. Bill and Ted, right? Bill and Ted <laughs> Three, Keanu Reeves, and and uh, look at. I don't even know the other dude's name. Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, I, I don't think he been in anything else but Bill and Ted. <laughs> I don't think he been in all the. I, I don't. At least I don't know. <laughs> you know. Uh, he's more memorable as Bill and Ted being Bill, <laughs> you know. Yeah, that was, I did a response from that when that movie first came out. I took it can't read. You need to keep that beard, man, because you look a lot better with the beard, man. Yeah. <laughs> but It'll be John Wick, uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it says, um, "The Lord hath cast down the thrones of proud princes, mm. except the meek in their stead." And, 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 and Lord Gary do that. He, he, all you prideful ass people that's in a position of power, Lord Gary bring your ass down and sell up the meek, which is the Israelites to elect, man. That's right. You know, starting with the elect, man. Mm -hmm. You're going to bring in that kingdom of heaven, man. Okay. All right. It was so, you, you quoted a, a word. I'm not. That was it. Uh, 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 that verse before the one that you just read. That was the main thing. Point out. Um, oh, okay. You know about talking about the strange calamities oh, okay. brought upon them. You know. Okay, con, con, yeah, now I remember. That was yeah. pretty much it. Okay, con, that's con. all I had. Okay, yeah. Well, we um, bottom line, the most size a man. He's a man of war, man. Yep. That tells you straight up, in Exodus fifteen to three, man. It tells you in the scriptures, right? It gives you a description of the Lord in um the book of Daniel's. Yep. And then what did Yahweh Shai say? If you see me, you see my father. That's and it. Yahweh Shai was what? But this world, he's a Judite, we know that. But what this world will call so-called dark-skinned black man, right? Mm -hmm. So if you've seen, if you've seen how the uh, Yahweh Shai, right? Which it gives you the the, uh, the description description of Yahweh Shai in Revelation, the first chapter. Mm -hmm. I also believe it, it mentions it in the second chapter too, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, hey, check, yeah. Oh yeah. You quoted this um, Daniel's uh, uh, seven and nine, and I beheld to the thrones were cast down. In the ancient days, those, this it. That's the, he the heavenly folly howl. Yeah, can I say this too? Those yeah. thrones that it was talking about is all these kingdoms, these great kingdoms that were to emerge. Yep. Okay. All right. In the in the uh, prophet Daniel, saw all these kingdoms. All right, come up, and he also seen them coming down. Mm -hmm. You know, and after that, they, 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 what he saw what the, the heavenly father. That's it. In the ancient days, is the heavenly father howl, man. That's right. Con ancient. I beheld till the thorns were cast down in the ancient days this sit whose garment was white as snow in the hairs of his, 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 
his, not her. <coughs> Trey. And the hair of his head like the pure, pure wool. Now, who has woolly hair? I oh, mean, that's fucking saying it. It's tickling my throat out of nowhere, that's man. That's all good. But yeah, really, like y'all just said, who, who's got woolly hair? You know, starting off with so-called blacks, all right? Hey, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, you know, Hispanics got, you know, uh, real uh, kinky hair too. Yep. Different type of, basically, they're different type of froze, man. Yep. You know, each tribe kind of has their own type of a uh, uh, hair texture, you know what I mean? In a sense. Mm -hmm. You know, but mainly, you know, it's talking about so-called black people, man. Mm -hmm. All right? All right? You know? The yes. Lord is a so-called black man. What this world likes to uh, call, you know? Mm-hmm. And sure, these people are just racist towards the so-called nigga. Whenever you bring up the fact that he's a black man, so-called black man, then all of a sudden color don't matter, you know, and it go, lowers all colors, all this bullshit. But if you hold up a picture of that, that um, seizure boy, Gilles, whatever, whatever, you know, Serapis. Serapis. <laughs> you know, you hold that picture. They'll say, oh, that's Jesus Christ. Or you have some random motherfucker that look like that bastard. They, they you look like Jesus Christ. That JC demon. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so you people are just, man, you through, man. Lord. <laughs> the Lord clearly walked on this earth. Yeah. In the flesh. But these people will say, oh, he had no color. So what was he, clear? Right. <laughs> he, he fucking clear, right? Right. And they try to get around. Well, he's Middle Eastern. What the fuck did that mean, man? Exactly. You know how many different type of ethnicities are in the Middle East right now? So yeah. which one are you talking about? Right. This is trying to get around the fact. They'll be trying to get around the fact that he's a dark skinned man. That's all they boil down to. Because these people hate you so called Negroes. They racist at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. It's point blank, period, man. So it says um, his head, the hairs of his head. His, not her, say it again, like the pure wool, his throne, it got his again, Ooh. was like a fiery flame in the wheels as a burning fire. Hmm. All right. So it's just playing the point. He's a man, not no fucking woman, man. And the reason this guy said this is because he's a woman worshiping ass demon, man. Yep. It's going to give him some nice sales. Yeah. You know? Lord and the Lord gave up the gave the order, man. It's him first, then Yahweh Shai, then the man, then the woman, man. All right, that's in um Corinthians, the first chapter, man. The Lord he says the, the flock is pastures are men. The whole the whole scripture is about men. Exactly. But man. some other woman is God, right? Mm-hmm. And I, I'm done. I don't got nothing else. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, yeah, we, could, we just <laughs> his guy. Just sh shut out. I mean, we pretty much proved the point. We bring out scripture that was plain. So guess what? The truth is the truth. You could tell yourself in your head all day. You could believe a lie all day, man. I always say this, but they ain't stop the fact that it's just that a fucking lie, man. Mm -hmm. People are delusional, man. You make up your own book. We said this in the store. You make Esau eating these two thirds. They make up a lie. They know the truth, but they make up a lie and they start to believe in that lie, man. Mm -hmm. Show you how bugged out and mentally insane you people are, man. Yep. All right, so yeah, we can end it there, man. You know, uh, give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How Bashem, Yahu Shah, Bashem, Chakodash. The bond of Apostle is a great millstone. Peace, salutation to you, Sasakim. Push his words, sincerity, truth, and charity. With that, say Shalom.